Hi everyone. In this video, we are going to discuss how to handle web elements, checkbox and radio buttons in Selenium. Let us understand with an example. I navigate to a some website. I click on checkboxes here and you see the checkboxes here, right? So the checkboxes are like you can select more than one checkbox here, right? So that is what uh, we call it as a checkbox. So whatever choice you wanted to select, right? So you can select uh, multiple items uh, at a time, right? Once you select a checkbox, you again click on that or select it. So it becomes deselected. And this is what we wanted to automate it now using Selenium, right? So let's see how to automate this. So once we navigate to this uh, particular URL, so this is how it looks like. So if you see checkbox one is not selected and checkbox two is selected. So we'll, we'll see how to automate this now. So I just copied the code here. So if you see the three lines, the first line sets the Chrome driver binary. And you can see I have created a drive, web driver object and instantiated it to the Chrome driver instance, right? Once the browser is launched, we are maximizing the browser window. All right. Once we are done with that, we'll navigate to the URL, this particular URL. And then we'll locate the checkbox, checkboxes, right? Find element. Let's go back. Right click inspect. Inspect this checkbox and take the relate X path by dot X path. So this is the first checkbox, right? Let's actually store it into some web, uh, web element object, right? I'll call that as checkbox. It's called checkbox one, right? Let's call that as checkbox one. Now we have the checkbox one element located, right? Now we'll see what are all the different methods uh, available for the checkbox. And at the same time, we'll also print them on the console. Checkbox dot is displayed. So is displayed is simple. If it is displayed on the web page or not. Is checkbox one displayed. So is displayed is a Boolean method which returns true or false based on the checkbox one's presence on the UI or the web page, right? Next, that's one method. And then the second method is enabled. So checkbox one is displayed, yes, it is displayed. And checkbox one, is it enabled? Enabled actually, the meaning of enabled is uh, if the checkbox is allowed to select or deselect. So that is what uh, the is enabled method returns. So it also returns a Boolean value, true or false. It returns true if we are allowed to select the checkbox or it returns false if it is, if we are not allowed to select or deselect the checkbox, right? Is checkbox one enabled? That is what we are going to verify. We know it's displayed, it's enabled, right? So let's go back. And we wanted to select on this box now, right? So how do we do that? We already captured that into checkbox, right? So checkbox one dot click. Click is the method we'll use to select that checkbox. And before that click, we wanted to see what's the status of it, right? So let's see that. For that, we can use the method checkbox one dot e selected. E selected is the method which again returns like Boolean value. See, if you hover on that method, you can see it returns Boolean value that is true or false. And it returns true when the checkbox is selected. And if it is not selected, it will return false. So in our case, so if we go back, it is not selected, right? So it has to return false. Is checkbox one selected? That is what uh, we'll display. 
and then we'll click it. We'll click on the checkbox and again we'll verify after clicking on the checkbox or after selecting the checkbox. Each checkbox when selected after click. That is what we'll verify now. Let me execute the code. So it navigates to the particular URL and you can see it actually selects the checkbox one, right? So let's go back and read the messages. See, each checkbox one displayed true. Yes, it's displayed on the web page. Each checkbox one enabled true. Yes, it's enabled, right? We were able to select the checkbox, right? So it is enabled true. It returned true. That's right. Each checkbox one selected no, right? At the beginning, if I refresh this, so you see here, it was not selected. That's the reason it says false. But if you observe, once we click on the checkbox or once we select the checkbox, each checkbox and select after click, yes, true. Because it is selected after we click on the checkbox, right? So these are the three methods available for the checkbox. And you know, how do we deselect the checkbox, which is selected, already selected? So let's see that now. We already have that on the web page. So what we'll do is, the name of it is checkbox two, right? Checkbox two, and you can see if you inspect, it will be input two. See, it is input two. You just need to modify this, that's all. And just modify this checkbox one to checkbox two. It is displayed. Yes, it is displayed. It is enabled even, right? We can see that. But is it selected? If you go back, is it selected? Yes, it is selected by default. So it has to return true. This has to return true. And this is checkbox two. We'll click on it. So it is selected. What we are doing, we are deselecting it, right? And then we wanted to check the status of it again. Selected, this checkbox was selected after click. It is already selected. So if we select on that, it will deselect. So it has to return false. Let's verify that. See, checkbox one got selected and checkbox two got deselected. So let's go back. You can see that. So this was already verified, right? So if you see checkbox two displayed true, enabled true, that's right. Is checkbox two selected? Yes, true. By default, when we navigate to that URL, it was by default selected. So it returns true. So once we click on that, so it becomes deselection. So it has to be false. That's what we see here, right? So this is how we automate the checkboxes in Selenium. Now, let's see how to automate radio buttons. Right. For that, let us navigate to a different URL. So you see a radio buttons here, right? So three radio buttons. You can select any radio button here. So the difference between checkbox and radio button is earlier checkbox, right? So there can be in any number of checkboxes and you can we can select at a type more than one checkbox, right? But the radio button is not like that. It's the only choice. Like uh, you can select only one option at a time. So that's the main difference between checkbox and radio button. Now, how do we automate this? Again, like we just need to inspect this element and need to click on the particular you know, option. Uh, but how do we actually capture this? So the same way how we actually did for checkbox, right? So let's do that now. Let's inspect this. Before that, we wanted to navigate to this uh, URL first, right? So let's navigate to this URL. Driver dot, I'll navigate dot to, to this particular URL. And then we'll find the element. Find element. Let's say for example, I wanted to select option two, okay? Oh, okay. You see a 
you know yellow triangle here it says id looks dynamic uncheck the id okay so we should not go by id if you see this id seems like uh, it is dynamic it may change right so that is the reason we are getting warning for the relative to x path in the selector sub right so that's fine let's deselect this id here and see what are all the options uh, selector subs provides us see it says uh, yeah this is this should be fine let's take uh, you know relate to x path or you know even relate to css selector should also be fine take any of them i am selecting relate to x path all right this is about option two right element i'll name it as option two and what we wanted to check for this radio button what are all the available methods is let's see that option two dot the first one is displayed whether it is displayed on the console or not is option two displayed that will verify first and then whether it is enabled or not can we click on that that is what will verify then option two dot is enabled is option to enable if it is enabled right then what are we going to do we are going to click on that dot click and then we'll verify if it is selector or not oh before selection also we'll verify what's the status of the radio button right option two dot is selected is it selected or not before we click on that right once we check the status uh, you know before click we click on the option to radio button and then we'll check the status of the option to selection again right okay let's execute the code now we didn't actually comment the code for checkboxes so it, it actually executes the code for checkboxes then navigates to the radio buttons I'm sorry. All right, you can see here, right? Radio buttons. Checkbox is already verified. You see radio buttons. Is displayed? Yes, true. It's enabled, true. It's selected. False before and after click. It is true, right? So this is how we can actually, you know use the methods of for the web element radio button right and in order to verify if uh, you can select more than actually we can't select more than one radio button right so i think we don't need to verify that using automation right all right so this is how we actually handle checkbox and radio button so in this video we have seen like how to handle checkboxes and how to handle radio buttons right so the ma main three methods here right is displayed is enabled and is selected so if you see e selected is the new method which we'll use for both the checkboxes and radio buttons uh, to actually verify their selection so that's all for this video thanks for watching